In this video, I would like to demonstrate for you how to insert a watermark into the background of a Microsoft Word 2007 document. The easiest way to do this is either with a picture or with text, but you also have the option of doing this by inserting a piece of clip art. I will show you the way to do this for all three options. To start with, when you have a Microsoft Word document open, what you need to do is go up to the top ribbon here and click on the Page Layout tab. When you do that, you can see right here a grouping for page background, specifically watermark. If I click on this down arrow, it pulls down many prefabricated options for me. Often when people want to have a watermark, it is for text, such as confidential, confidential going across, and other various options. If I scroll down, you can see even more prefabricated options. However, what if that is not what you want them to say? What if you would like to customize some words in the background? Well, you go down here to custom watermark. When I click on custom watermark, it brings up this dialog box. Now, currently it is set to no watermark. I would like to enter a text watermark. It's going to be in English. I can either use some of this prefabricated text or type in my own wording. Here I can also change what font I would like to use. I can even pick out what size. I would like to have it be auto. That way it will pick out its own size for me um, and it will fit the page better. I would like this to be in a diagonal line going across my page. I can even pick out what color. Now in this case, I would probably be printing out with a black and white printer. So this gray tone will probably work well for my text. And if I have it as semi-transparent, it will look even more faded. I'm liking the way this is set up. I'm going to hit OK. And when I do that, if I scroll down, you can see now my text is in the background. Literally, background. Um, if you're not sure quite how it's looking across the whole document, a neat little trick is to go down here to the lower right level to where the zoom quick access scroll bar is. Currently, it's set at 100%. If I scroll down, Look at that, at 50%, I can truly see what this is going to look like. Now, what would you like to do if you don't want text, instead, you would like to have a picture? Well, you can do that. Instead, I would like to go up here to watermark, and I'm going to remove the original watermark I put in. Ta-da. I'm gonna go back up to watermark, go back down to custom, and now select picture. Now, for this to work, you have to have a picture already picked out and saved somewhere on your computer. I'm gonna select a photo. Oh, I'm liking, how about mm, this one? Now, I'm going to have it automatically scaled, and I would like it to be a washed out uh, photo, which means this is going to look faded into the background. I like it, I'll hit OK. Now, you can see my photo. And what I like about this is it is faded out. Now, it is currently a color photograph. If I didn't want this as a color photograph, what you would first need to do is edit the photograph and recolor it to black and white or to grayscale. That's a different video. But in this case, I'll keep it with the color photo. I had promised to show you how would you do this if, instead of using a photograph, you wanted to use some clip art. Well, once again, you can do that. It's a little bit different though. So first, I wanna go back to a blank document I'm going to remove my original watermark. Back up here, page layout, 
page background, click down watermark, remove. I want to install a piece of clip art as my watermark background. This is a little trickier. What you need to first do is, strangely, open up the headers and the footers. The easiest way to do this is in your document, go up to the header area, which is this blue section up here above your general text, double click. When you do that, it automatically launches your header and footer and it opens up this header and footer tools design tab. <gasps> clip art, just what I want. I'm going to click on this and it brings up my clip art dialog box over here on the right. Now, I'm thinking of putting together a science syllabus and this would be for a class using microscopes. So here we go. I'm going to use a piece of microscope clip art. I'm going to search. I like this one. Now, what I need to do is first click in my header and then once your cursor is in the header, double click on the clip art, it will automatically be inserted. I'm gonna close that. I like this. I would like it obviously to be bigger. So I'm going to drag the picture or clip art handle and expand it. Now, as you can see, this is still stuck up in the header. I would like to move it. If I try to just click it and drag, see those uh, arrows? That means to move the picture, it's not gonna move down below the header. But don't worry, you can get around this. What you need to do is in the picture tools format box, go over here to arrange, position, and I would like this in the center of the page, click. Voila, even though this clip art is still technically in the header, when you click out of the header, you can see it's still centered in the middle of the page. If I still found that this watermark was too dark and I want it to look even more faded, you would click back in the header, scroll down until you get those crossed arrows, click, that grabs the handles for your clip art object. Then, up here in picture tools, format, you go over here to adjust, recolor, light variation. Now, if I click out, you can see it's even lighter. So my friends, that is how you can insert a text watermark, a picture watermark, or even a clip art background. I hope you might find these techniques helpful in the future. Good luck.